How does Reddit True Tide burn fat? This is a good question because what is fat burning anyways? And fat doesn't technically burn, but the question is, does it selectively allow for fatty acid oxidation? And is retitrutide the most powerful substance known to help accomplish this? So in this video, what I'll do is I'm gonna show you three actions that retitrutide does and performs so that you can know if it burns fat or not. And you can know if this is something that might be appropriate for your overall goals or not. And my goal is to help you identify how to burn fat. There's some natural things that I'll approach. There's also some ways that you can burn fat consistently, whether you use Reddit True Tide or any other GLP-1 or not. So let's jump in. I'm Reagan Archibald, founder of Ageless Future, and I make these videos because I believe that you can optimize your health in a shorter period of time as long as you have the right data, the right diagnostic testing, the right teamwork, and some of the medical innovations like peptides that can help you get there. This is not medical advice, so make sure that you're working with your medical provider, or if you need a medical team, go to agelessfuture.com, and it will help you get connected with the right person. All right, let's jump in. So does Reddit True Tide help you burn fat? Well, this is one of the questions that a lot of people ask. And Reddit True Tide doesn't just help you eat less. It actually turns on a switch in your body so it regulates all of the metabolic function. And it's like a metabolic overhaul. And if you think of aging, one of the things that happens to us when we get in our 40s, 50s, 60s, some of you even younger, we just start holding on to fat as an energy source. Yes, a lot of that has to do with overconsumption, calories and nutrients, but another big part of it is we have too high levels of stress, we have too many chemical exposures, we may have infections. And so if you're looking to burn fat, Reditrutide is phenomenal because it's a triple agonist. And one of the things that it does very well is it targets what's called visceral fat. So in your body, you have fat that accumulates around the organ systems, and that's known as visceral fat. It can be very dangerous. This is where you see kind of like the uh, dude with a six pack, but he's still got a belly. There's fat underneath it all. That's where there's a difference between fat that you can feel on the external part of the body where you can kind of squeeze it and shake it versus you know a really distended belly that's just solid. That can be the difference between visceral fat, which can cause all kinds of downstream issues versus just having a more subcutaneous fat is what it's called. Let's jump into what Reditrutide is. Well, it's a triple agonist. It's a GLP-1. It's a GIP or a gastroinhibitory polypeptide and glucagon. So it's three peptides that are structured together to make this beautiful complex called retitrutide. And retitrutide is so dynamic. It's like similar to BPC-157. It's like the Swiss army knife for metabolic function. And when we run your blood labs, one of the first things that we look at is we look at your glucose, we look at hemoglobin A1C, we look at C-peptide, and we look at your body's fasting insulin levels. These are really important markers because they predict the energy systems in your body. How much energy are you producing? And so in order to burn fat, what you've got to do first is you've got to activate the mitochondrial system. And the mitochondria and the fat is really impressive because what you can do is if you have what's called beige fat, that's when the mitochondria, they come to the surface of the fat cell and you can actually use that fat as an energy source. So if you're carrying around a few extra pounds of fat, just consider it as a, it's like a battery pack and you may want to turn on that fat burning and use that energy, that's fine. Reditrutide can help you get there. One of the things that the research found that I think is most compelling about this peptide is the fact that it goes in with glucagon specifically and not only is it just turning down or muting some of your appetite with the GLP-1, but it also with the GIP, it's creating more insulin stability and insulin sensitivity so you can actually get sugar into the cell. And then with glucagon, it's targeting more visceral fat. But what it does to the mitochondria is it turns on this pathway called PGC1-alpha. And PGC1-alpha is what causes biomodulation of mitochondria or mitochondrial biogenesis. And when you have mitochondrial biogenesis, you'll get this activation of fat as an energy source. And when you can start using fat as an energy source, that could be called 
fat burning. So even though fat is like this very complex structure and to lose fat is not just like the fat melts away, it's actually there's connective tissue that goes along with it. If you've ever lost fat really quickly, you'll see your skin starts to sag. That's where adding in one day of week where you're doing more of a fasted state can help prevent some of that skin dysregulation if you are on a weight loss journey. But the stubborn belly fat, one of the things you could do naturally is cold exposure. Now I know you're probably turning up your nose. You're like, I'm not Wim Hof. I don't want to jump in an ice bath. But I can tell you if you can get uh, your body maybe in a 45 degree cold plunge, 42, whatever you can tolerate and get in there for like a minute, maybe two minutes and just do some nice breathing. What you do is all the blood rushes to your organ systems. So your blood vessels constrict and then it turns on the cold shock proteins turn on the fat in your cells to try to warm your body up. And that's what causes this white fat to turn into beige fat. And beige fat is the metabolically active fat. That's how you can burn fat. So even just getting in a cold, even a cold shower every morning, 20 seconds, it's great, really good for you. Just start slow, sing happy birthday to you. It's a roughly 20 second long song. Sometimes it feels like it lasts forever. The other thing that you can do to turn on fat is you can exercise. And we've talked a lot about exercise, follow the 30-30 principle. Exercise 30 minutes in the morning as the sun's rising and then as the sun's setting, exercise another 30 minutes. But if you really want to go deeper and know, okay, does red etrutide actually burn fat? Well, the first clinical trial, they compared semaglutide, and this was published in JAMA in 2024, and they found that people who use red etrutide had more fat loss and more overall body fat percentage loss than the group that used trizepatide or semaglutide. Trizepatide outperformed semaglutide and then retitrutide outperformed both of those. Another thing that they found by using an MRI, they found that retitrutide actually more selectively removes the fat around the liver and it reduced fatty liver disease, or what's called NASH, non-alcoholic steatosis. This is really important because over 85% in the group that had NASH, or fatty liver disease, they actually achieved a normal liver fat levels, the study group, at 24 to 48 weeks. So that's a massive transformation of removing visceral fat. One of the uh, things that you can do is you can stack a peptide called tessamorelin, which is a peptide that was FDA approved for HIV patients who had lipodystrophy or the accumulation of organ fat or visceral fat. So does retitrutide burn fat? Absolutely. It targets more selectively visceral fat than you'll get with the other GLP ones. It also is more performance based. It has a lower pulse on the GLP-1 pathway, about 10 times less of a pulse than like semaglutide, maybe five times less of a pulse than trizepatide. So you're not going to get that same kind of muting of the hunger, but you still get some, but it does seem to add more of this metabolic reboot, a complete regeneration of your metabolic system so that you can burn fat more effectively. So the weight that you lose, you're not losing muscle, but the fat that you lose actually stays off. So I think it's one of the most powerful ways that you can actually achieve your body composition goals without risking losing all the vitality that you have in your muscles. So if you love this video, if you wanna find out, is Red Etrutide right for me? All you need to do is go to agelessfuture.com, click on the link that you'll find on that website, and then my team will help get your blood work ran, get all the proper diagnostics, so that we can get you set up on the right track. I'll see you on the next video.